Thank you for choosing Handy Timesheet. This video is about how to get started uh, with Handy Timesheets and get everything set up so that you could enjoy uh, the information that you find from employee monitoring and time tracking. So when you sign up for the premium version, you get uh, free two users. One would be the administrative user and another would be the employee user. So you can use these two users to test everything, how everything works. And then based on that, you can sign up additional employees. So once you click start now, this is how you sign up. You start now and you would have entered your name, information, email, and uh, so on. And once you enter this and hit continue, you would have got a verification email. Once you verify your email address and log into hand Handy, you would come to this page. And when you come to this page, you would see all the other different software that we have. But uh, you could just select Handy Timesheets to go into uh, the timesheet software that you registered for currently. And as an administrative user, once when you come into this one, these are all the things that you need to get set up in order for you to start monitoring uh, your employees. So first thing you need to select your default time zone. This is what will be used for all your reports. And then you can select the time format or the date, date format. And this is again, uh, this information will be used uh, for uh, the reports. And also you can, you have the option of selecting work time only in all reports or work time and break time in all reports. And if you want to add idle and logout time into the desktop timer, which means that uh, when the desktop timer is running and if you want to log out after a certain amount of time or if it is inactive for a certain amount of time, then you could set these settings. And you can also add time manually, which most companies don't want to do. And uh, so that's up to you if you want to choose this or not. And here are the employee monitoring features. You want to monitor your keystrokes for the employees, app, the software applications that the employees use, the websites that the, I mean, the employees use, and also capture screenshots every five minutes or whatever time period that you want. And once you select all this, you can hit save settings and save all these settings. After you finish entering the settings and saving it, the next step is you can come to clients and add uh, whatever clients that you want. You can add uh, client name uh, information. Client company is the only uh, required field. All the others are not mandatory. So you can, you can select a client and add it. And then you can add uh, the projects, whatever projects that the staff might be working on. So you can add a new project client name and then select the specific client uh, which uh, the project belongs to. And then the next step would be to select, add a new team on which uh, whatever team that you have in your company can be added. And the different tasks that needs to be done, for example, which there's no task or if there's some software development or if there's some other task, you can add add those in here by clicking on add task, add task. And then you can also select the task type, whether it is work time or break time. And then, uh, and then the last step would be to add an employee. So you can add an employee and uh, assign them the specific team. Say, for example, I'll add an employee in here. And then you can select the team in here and uh, save this. So once you have all this information done, and uh, once you set up the employee, it will send an email to the employee with a link saying that they need to, they can sign up to Handy Timesheet and then start using it. So once you add an employee in this section, the employee will get an email and which says that I click on the link to activate. And once they click on the link to activate, the employee will have to choose a password. And after they choose a password, they will see the screen. They are given permission to go into Handy Timesheet and then start, uh, start the installation. So the first thing that the employee has to do is to go into the app section and then click on the desktop timer. This is what uh, will be used to track uh, the employee information so that the administrator can view all the information that's needed. The employee then clicks on download link and then once the once the app is downloaded, they can click on it and then uh, run the installation so that they can install the desktop timer software. So as soon as the employee downloads the handy timesheet desktop timer application, they can log in. 
and only after they log in is when uh, the information gets started tracking so they don't need to select anything in here uh, if, if you want to start tracking their time then you can have the employee select whatever team whatever project and whatever client they're working on whatever task that they're working on and then start the timer and if if not even if you don't start the timer then the information that will be tracked will be the applications that are being used by this employee the screenshots and also the urls that the employee visits so only when the employee logs into the software in the, into the desktop timer is when the information will start getting tracked and as soon as the employee logs out the information will stop getting tracked so in addition to all the monitoring you can also have the employee track their time so that you can see what projects they are working on and this desktop timer is a, a desktop application so even if there is no internet connection this application will work and uh, as soon as an internet connection is established that information will get uh, sent over to the website once every 10 minutes so uh, uh, then the employee can go and then view their timesheet information in, in in the website application but the primary thing that the uh, the employee needs to use is only the desktop timer they can start this and stop stop the task and uh, their applications and all the information that's being used by the employee gets tracked after the employee logs into the applications until they log out of this application this is an important point now the administrator logs this is the administrator login so the employee has started uh, uh, using the desktop timer and now the administrator can come in and then uh, they can start looking at uh, what team and select the specific employee and they can run start running the report so they can uh, say the date they can specify the date range and you'll see that uh, okay this employee worked uh, total keystrokes worked average keystrokes during this this day and uh, if they want to track applications they can select uh, the applications as well from here and then kit go and it will bring all the applications that the staff has used the start time and the end time and then the total time uh, that the person has used they use eclipse and and so on and then you can select the websites used by the employees which will be all this information will be available only after uh, the employee starts logging into the desktop timer and then they start and then uh, it'll start logging the information and then once they log out so these are all the websites uh, that this employee has used and it will show the front time two time and the total time used and then you could see the screenshots also select an employee and so you can look at all the different screenshots that the employee has used so these are all the monitoring reports and if you want to look at uh, the time uh, what the employee has spent on what project and so on you need to go to the team timesheet and uh, you can look at the view, week view or day view or the month view so you can see you can select the team and the specific employee and then you could specify what week it is and then run the report and then you will see what how much what is the work time what were what are all the projects that the staff has worked on this specific date and the break time uh, information and so it also gives the total break time how much the employee has taken during these days and also the total work time and the break time so you can start uh, getting some information about uh, your employees after after they start um, logging in the information and uh, so keep in mind that uh, the information from the desktop timer gets updated to the website once every 10 minutes so uh, so once you start refreshing once every 10 minutes you could see uh, the information uh, uh, on on the administrator web screen hope this information was helpful for you to get started again we are excited to have you as a customer and thank you for selecting uh, uh, handy timesheet if you have any questions or technical questions please do let us know and we'll try to help you out thank you